Hi all, today we are going to see a knapsack problem. It is a well known problem. Let's first understand how to solve the problem and we can see how to apply a greedy technique to it. What is meant by a knapsack problem? The thief used to come with a bag and collect the item from our house and sell our product outside. What is the aim of the thief? The item what he have picked from our house should be maximum. It is one of the real time problem. One more real time problem we can relate to this is uh, the transportation of goods from one place to another. The same thing, the goods transport from one place to another should gain a maximum value. So let's start to a problem. So we have a list of item one to seven. For each item, the corresponding profit and weight is given. So, let's understand for what weight and profit is given. See, bag is given. Here, the bag capacity is 15. W capital W is said to be a knapsack. Knapsack is nothing but a bag. So, we can see one example for it. See, this is a bag. The bag maximum weight is, they can carry the maximum weight will be 13. So, we have a list of item. The item, for each item, we have a weight and the value. So, what is the goal? What is the goal of the knapsack problem? Fill the knapsack, fill the bag such that the profit is maximum. And the weight is equal to or less than the capacity because if the weight is more, the bag cannot be carry the item. So let's start to the problem. So what is mean by zero bar one knapsack problem? It is the item cannot be divided. It should be taken as a whole or cannot be taken. If it is taken to a bag, it is denoted by a one. If it is not taken, then it is denoted by zero. So, to solve this problem, you can give an idea for it. You can tell, you can, we can take a maximum profit uh, products and place to a bag. I may tell that we can take a minimum weight product and place it to a bag. Both the solution are correct. But, what are the method we are going to follow? So, by using a greedy method, we have to first identify which method we are going to follow. The method should, should be give a feasible solution. Each step should give a feasible solution. At last, we have to produce one optimal solution. So, here, first we are finding the profit by weight for each item. This is the method we are going to follow. So, what is the item one profit divided by weight? So, 10 divided by 2 will be 5. Next item 2, 5 divided by 3, the value will be 1.3. Next item 3, 15 profit is 15. The weight is 5, so 15 divided by 5, the value will be 3. Next, item 4, profit is 7, the weight is 7, so 7 divided by 7 is 1. Next, item 5, the profit is 6, and the weight is 1, 6 divided by 1 will be 6. So next, item 6, 18 divided by 4, the value will be 4.5. Next, item 7, the value 3, profit is 3, divided by the weight is 1, the value will be 3. After calculating the, after calculating the profit divided by weight, we have to take our container, that is nothing but our bag. So, what is the capacity of the bag? It is 15. So, we have to place the item equal to 15 or less than 15. How to choose the item? For that only we have calculated the profit divided by weight. So, we have to take the maximum profit item first. So, the maximum profit item here is 
item 5 the value is 6 so first you have to take the item 5 before placing the item 5 to the container you have to check whether the weight is lesser than the capacity of the bag so item 5 weight is 1 so it is lesser than the capacity so you can probably place the item 5 to the bag after placing the item 5 we have to uh, minus the weight of the original capacity bag so the item 5 weight is 1 so 15 minus 1 now the capacity is 14 next we have to check the next maximum what is the next maximum item the next maximum item is 1 so you have to check the weight it 2 it is lesser than the 14 so probably you can place the item 1 so next next maximum is next maximum is yes item 6 so the weight is 4 it is lesser than the no 12 so you can probably place the item 6 to the bag now the 12 minus 4 its weight is minus 4 it is 8 so next maximum is item 3 the weight is 5 it is lesser than the now uh, no capacity weight is 8 so it is lesser than 5 so you can probably play the item 3 to the bag next we have to minus the weight so 8 minus 5 is 3 next what is the next maximum it is item 7 the item 7 is placed the weight is weight of the item is 7 is 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 now the capacity of the bag is 2 what is the next maximum item 2 the item 2 weight is 3 it is larger than the capacity can you place it to a bag no so we cannot play the item to the bag so we have to deny that particular item move to next item so the next item is item 4 the weight is 7 so cannot play the item to the bag so we will be left with the item 4 we have to check any more item has left no we have checked all the item so now we have to calculate our x value how will you calculate the x value if the item is placed to a bag means you have to give a one if it is not you have to give the value zero so item one is placed so one item two is not placed so zero item three is placed so one item four is not placed zero item five is placed one item six is placed so one item seven is placed yes it is one so our problem is over now we have to calculate the total weight and total profit gained so now how will you calculate the weight total back weight it is summation of weight into that particular item weight if it is placed we will be denoted by one so one into that particular item weight so first item yes it is one so item one into the x value into that particular item weight so one into two plus zero second item is not placed so it is zero third item yes it is placed so x value is one item three weight is five so one into five a fourth item is not placed so it is zero next fifth item yes it is placed so x value is one the item five weight is one so one into one next item six it is one so the weight of the item six is four one into four next item seven item seven yes it is placed so one one into the particular weight three so one into three so what is the total what is the total calculate the total yes the total is 13 yes now we have to calculate the profit similar to the weight now summation of that item profit into x value 
first item yes it is placed so 1 into 10 second item is not placed so it is 0 plus third item yes it is placed the x value is 1 item 3 profit is 15 plus fourth item is it is not placed so it is 0 plus next Fifth item, yes, it is placed. So 1 into item 5 profit is 6. So 1 into 6 plus sixth item, yes, it is placed. So 1 into the item 6 value that is profit is 18. So 1 into 18 plus seventh item, yes, it is placed. So 1 into the item 7 item profit is 3. 1 into 3. So if you are calculating that particular value, so you will be getting 52. That will be your final answer. Yes, you have done with your problem. So, what is the approach we have used to solve this problem by using a greedy technique? First, you have to calculate the ratio. How will you calculate the ratio? That's nothing but profit divided. Finally, you have to calculate the profit. If you have any doubt, please do comment me. I have given one assignment problem for you. Please do calculate and check. Thank you.